morning, everyone. This is Joe Henches with Beyond the Chart, and this is Thursday, February 20th, 2014. Technical analysis of the stock market today. All right, we're going to come back to Las Vegas Sands, and we're going to start off with the Dow again. Okay, well, I should have said my catchy little thing. I was going to say, what's up? <laughs> and I must say, I, I feel really bad saying this, but I never heard of what's up until today. And apparently 450 million people do or did. So that, that's just amazing. And $19 billion, I think we're all a little bit uh, kind of blown away by the numbers that we're hearing here. But um, be that as it may, somebody seems to know what they're doing, I guess. Um, okay, so the Dow is up 100 or 92 points, not 100. It was up over 100, about 125 at one point, I think, or maybe a little bit higher. But 92 points for the day. Uh, we're, it seems like we're going sideways a little bit here. Um, we really haven't traded much out of this little range. Um, you know, the high and low of the 14th, which was last Friday. Of course, we've only had three days so far today. We had Monday off. So the high and low of last Friday, and we've kind of been within that, except for just a little bit of a, a blurb yesterday. Uh, we've pretty much been going sideways. And we're staying above the 10-day exponential. It's still pushing higher in here. Uh, this is the 50-day. This is the resistance lines I talked about. A little bit of a resistance zone we're getting in here. So uh, I think to push, to take out, I mean, we've got to push up through this. Now, it's totally possible that we're starting to get into some kind of range-bound situation. But it may be too early to, to really say that. Um, because, I mean, this is a heck, it would be a heck of a range between this high and this low. So we'll just have to wait and see what happens here. Let's take a look at the S&P 500. Um, similar type deal, you know, similar type of situation, not really seeing anything else. I mean, it was up, uh, what, 11 points today. Um, let's see, the um, NASDAQ. NASDAQ is pushing higher into this resistance zone. Again, it's, it's trying to get through it. Um, and it was up almost 30 points today. And that's with Apple being down. I think Apple was down six, seven points. Uh, so um, it continues to push up higher. But again, now in this case, it, we're above Friday. Here's last uh, last Friday. And so we're kind of slightly ch uh, trading above that zone. And we, you know, we're in a, up that zone that's above this peak in here too. So the NASDAQ's leading higher right now. The New York Composite, kind of a similar type thing, although we're, we're uh, again, kind of pushing above this close uh, in here from last Friday. So these three days in here, um, let's see. But again, here's this, this is this resistance line that I kind of drew through this congestion, this, uh, uh, yeah, I mean, I, that's what I call it. <laughs> I call it congestion. Uh, in here and so when you kind of eyeball that that resistance line that seems to be holding so far so okay um, was there anything else let's get into the short-term trading index had a lowest reading today since January 14 back here so had a 0.63 reading and today was 0.63 now after January 14th we had one more update than we rolled over but we had had this pretty extreme reading here on the 10 day exponential moving average. We haven't gotten that yet. So I don't want to make that kind of a correlation yet. We just need we need to get the 10 day uh, coming down to give us any kind of signal. It's not giving us a signal now. The VIX is uh, pulling back. Um, it's you know, so you know, here we had this big move yesterday, uh, but it, and then it's just it's coming right back down. And I don't really see that it's telling us anything dramatically new. Um, uh, where is it? I was Oh, there it is, the high-low index. This is the one thing that was kind of curious today. With us being up almost 100 points, uh, we had a, another drop. Okay, so the a net high-low has dropped in the last two days. So but we still had more new highs than we had new lows. It's just that there were fewer of them on an up day, which was a little bit, a uh, little strange. But I think yesterday we had that big kind of intraday swing up 
and that may have caused a bunch of stocks, you know, hitting new highs and and uh, and all that. So that's the only thing I can figure out uh, with that uh, situation. I think that's about it for the market. Well, uh, tomorrow, the only thing that's on the agenda, I think, for economic and indicators uh, is nine o'clock central time existing home sales. Uh, I think that's the only thing that I can see. I want to take a look at two of the trade ideas, Las Vegas Sands and Valero. Las Vegas Sands, we've been in this trade for three days now. Our entry on Las Vegas Sands was at 80.06 on Tuesday. We got the signal on Friday, 80.06 in here on Tuesday. And now it's been three days. So now um, instead of doing a, uh, having a two-day low, uh, as a trailing stop, I want to do a close below the the prior day low just because I'm concerned about getting intraday swings and intraday whips and getting whipsawed in a position. Whereas the close, if we get a close below the low, then that's kind of a, a stronger indication that the that it's uh, that it's that the up move is pausing or stopping. And I would I want to go with that. And, and, you know, sometimes those don't work either. I mean, you just never know over here. You you know, you saw this rally in here. It worked fine uh, up through here, worked fine until here and got you out. So you just you never know. I mean, it's almost six, one half dozen of the other. But I, that's the one I've got. And I've got it on the um, trade ideas Web page and doing the same thing on Valero. Uh, Valero, we uh, had the signal on Friday. We got in here at 50.15 on Monday. Uh, so the signal was here. It opened up. We got in at 50.15. And here we are closing today, 49.59. So it pulled back. But I thought it was kind of interesting. Uh, this move from this low up to here, we pulled back almost about 50%. And here's the 50-day the 20 day and the 10 day all coming together right in here. Uh, potentially this you know, is getting support, but we'll see. So again, the exit is a close below this low or ongoing a close below the prior day low. So hopefully we can, you know, turn around, keep pushing up here and hit our target at least. And then we'll kind of go from there. So that's it for tonight. Uh, this has been Joe for Beyond the Chart. Thanks for stopping by. And have a great Friday and uh, see what happens. Talk to you this weekend.